Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ramon Kujo and on this episode, I'm about to show you how to gift FUT coins or FUT players to your friends. This only works for tradable players or tradable items only. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing so that you don't miss any of my tutorial videos and live streams. If you also like to buy FUT coins, look no further than U7 buy. Their services are cheap, reliable and affordable. Don't forget to use my promo code RK if you are purchasing your FUT coins. Now this procedure is similar to the normal U listing of your tradable players on the transfer market so they can be bought at affordable prices or reasonable prices. And of course, yes, at some point in the game, we all run out of FUT coins and we need this player badly or we need this item badly and it's like there's no time to play squad battles or division rivals to get enough coins to be able to do what we want to do with the coins as at the time we need it. However, you can do this with your friend or with anyone who is willing or ready to do so. But first, the fellow has to have enough FUT coins in the account, then you start the procedure. To start with this procedure, we will use this account as account A, the account that needs the FUT coin so badly. So currently, I don't have any tradable player, so I am going to the transfer market to buy a tradable player and then I would list him back on the market at a higher price and of course at a price that my friend will be able to afford. And again, it's always necessary to use players that are common, like a common bronze player or a common gold player. Then again, if you already have a player or a tradable player that you no longer want or you no longer use, you can list him on the transfer market or if you have a particular tradable player that your friend needs, you can also list him on the transfer market. Let's assume that my friend currently doesn't need any player, so he just wants to give me let's say 4,000 coins. If not, if he needed a player, I would have gone straight to buy him that player or if I had that player as a tradable player, I would have gone to list him on the transfer market then he will purchase it at a lesser price than the ordinary market prices. So now I've gone in to purchase a tradable player that I can list on the transfer market so my friend would buy. As you mean my friend needed a player, I would have gone in for that same particular player and then I'll list him at a lesser price so my friend can just buy and keep it. Or if he wants to give me the coins, I'll just buy a player at a lesser price and then I'll list him on the transfer market at a higher price. So this is the trick. I take into consideration the name of the player, the rating of the player, the team he plays, the starting price and the buy now price and also the time or the duration of the transfer market. You need to take into consideration all these things and communicate them to your friend so that he can be able to purchase the player you listed on the market. This is because there may be several other players that are similar to the one you've listed on the transfer market. So to help your friend know which player you've exactly listed on the transfer market and not mistakenly buy, buy any other player, you need to let him know the name of the player, the time or the duration, the amount you listed the player on the market. So assuming I had wanted to buy a player for my friend, I could just buy a player with my account, then I'll list him for a cheaper price on the transfer market so my friend can afford him. So this is account B, my friend's account, where he has over 4,000 coins and wants to give me, let's say 4,000. So what I have to do is, I go straight to the transfer market, knowing the type of card and the name of the player, I just go and type in the name of the player and select the type of card. After selecting the player, I go straight to the transfer market. I realize that there are so many other players that have been listed, but my friend tells me that it is an hour duration. So the time remaining as of now may be between 55 to 58 minutes. So I then skip by pressing the R1. I skip, skip, skip. And when I get to the 50 minutes and above, I slow down and go through the players one after the other. I realize my friend tells me that the start price is 4,000 and then the buy now price is 4,500. So I cross check and then if this information is right, I quickly buy this player at once by using the buy now selection. And after that, I can sell the player quick sell or decide to keep it. So assuming it's a player I want or I like, I can keep the player in my team. But if it's not a player I want or I like, I can just quick sell or list the player back on the transfer market for a normal price. You know that player can't 
be sold or bought for 4,500 coins. After this is done, we go back to account A. In account A, we go to transfer list again and we go to check on the players we've listed on the transfer market. You realize that someone has bought this player and that happens to be your friend. So you get your 4,500 coins added to your current coins and that makes it a transfer of coins from one account to the other. Thanks for watching this video. If this video has been helpful to you, please do well to like and share with your friends and consider subscribing to my channel for more tutorial videos.